My next duet It's kind of on the other end of the pyramid here. It's Jojo and Kendall. Yay! Jojo and Kendall were my two lowest ranking soloists last week because their technique is just not up to par. I'm giving the two of them something we rarely do in competition because it's about challenging these kids to push themselves every weekend for a competition. So the two of you, you are doing a ballet routine. It will be in the ballet category. However, it's a contemporary ballet. We never do ballet routines, ever. We are now. It's entitled Push and Pull. Cool. I'm literally freaking out. Like, I'm not really like the ballet technique type. Like, my legs and feet, they're good, but they're not perfect. And so jazz is like really my thing. I have to just work really hard on my technique. I really have to nail it. All right. You two both know Daniel, yes? Daniel is one of our wonderful, accomplished ballet instructors. So this week, he has been assisting with the choreography. And I think he's going to whip these two into shape. So you two are doing contemporary ballet routine. We haven't done really that with the Ivy League Dance Company at competition. So I think this is good for you. Uh, everybody needs more ballet, OK? My elite girls have not been winning. And even when they do win, I don't think their technique is up to snuff. It's high time these girls realize how important their training is. One, throw a on the side, two, and then we go again to shift forward, three, four. Well, we're starting our duo. Our ballet duo. When's the last time we've ever had a specialty ever. duo? Ever. Well, ballet, our kids are not, this isn't a ballet school. Yeah. And then we want to jump over this like a rebel tub. Sure. As we're learning our choreography, I can just tell by the look on JoJo's face that JoJo doesn't really like this dance. But I'm a little nervous because it's ballet, and I'm just going to say this, we're not the best at ballet, so it's going to be a rough week. This won't be bad, but it won't score well. It won't be. It's not a winning number. They're going to rip them apart. This is so frustrating. You know what, Abby? Choreograph a dance that makes her look good. It's not rocket science. It's dance choreography. I mean, if we look bad on stage, I care. JoJo's going to be the next big thing. Her music video is out. Her song is out. There's so much other stuff coming out. Like, JoJo is branding herself. Honestly, JoJo has a lot to lose. Like, I don't need Abby breaking us down. Give her a ballet dance? Are you kidding me? The joke. Well, none of our girls are ballerinas. It's none of our girls' things. Three, four, and five, six, seven, chasse, and up. This is bad. This is not even kind of good. This is bad. I don't think Abby realizes who JoJo really is and what her potential is as a dancer. If JoJo's only shot of winning this week is on technique, it's not going to happen. I certainly did not give up everything for Abby to make JoJo look bad. If there's one thing you guys can think, just be super clear about where you're ending and where you're starting from. Yeah, because that's the bits that kind of get really fundamentally wrong for me. Yeah, for you especially. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. How is the duo? I think it's going to be good for you. You're not doing it. No. Oh, oh, Jojo. Go take a moment. Go get some air. Honey, stop. Honey, stop. I think it's really stupid that we have to do these dances. There's a freaking left corner. Just... Anybody else wants we to do it, they can have it. We have other stuff This, this is on. not what's going to happen. What? We're not doing the duel. We're not. I'm JoJo's not doing the duel. Settled. Why Why is she crying about a dance? Because she thinks she's going to look in a terrible fifth position. on stage. She didn't look bad at all. A million people. Just a solution for everything is to just pull JoJo out. She never forces JoJo to do anything outside her comfort zone. No wonder JoJo's not getting any better, because Jess pulls her the minute something is hard. It's stupid. You're making them look well, stupid. You're not doing it. It's, it's settled. It's done. You're not doing it. No one can make you dance. You can go stand on stage if they play the music. Wow. I have the worst luck with duos. Girls, where is the um, class clown? Where is JoJo? Oh, she hasn't told us anything. We haven't seen her today. Or really? I haven't Come on, to you today. guys are thicker than thieves. Check Last my time I, I didn't even, night. she didn't even call me. She, yeah, she didn't say anything. Shall we call Jess? You know.
No go. I am personally hurt and offended that Jess and JoJo did not show up for rehearsal. Not a phone call, not an email, zip. And damn it, I deserve more. You don't quit things because they're tough in life. Parents, uh, would you not agree? Uh, I, I think there's a bigger picture. Jess is worried about the future of her child like we all are. I don't condone it, but I think as a parent, I understand. But as a parent and a dance teacher, Jill, she should have kicked that kid's butt right back into that duet and said, you know what, you're doing it because you're going to win or you're not going to win. That doesn't matter. What matters is you that you get stronger. You don't think I stronger. wanted her to because now that leaves my child without a duet. Well, Ari will fill in. I know she's a lot shorter than Kendall, but. Well, thank you. I appreciate that you shoving your daughter down my throat every five seconds. But I'm putting Kalani in to replace JoJo. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Kalani is the ballet dancer. She's been taking eight hours of ballet for the first 12 years of her life. It helps a lot that Kendall gets to have Kalani step in and pick up where JoJo left off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two. Kalani doesn't seem too excited about this. She didn't know it. Well, you can thank Jess for that. It really isn't fair to Kalani or Kendall. The duet is hard, and I don't know that anybody's done anything like that. Kalani's stressing right now. This choreography is not simple. There's only two days left till competition, and Kalani has got her work cut out for her. I am quite shocked, to be all honest, that this is happening with Jess, out of all people, the person who gives everybody about not being fully dedicated to the team, yet she's the first one to jump ship because her kid got a ballet duet. Okay, don't be nervous. It's not for anything nervous. Jess and JoJo have left the team, basically because of this dance. It's not fair. Kendall and Kalani did not have a lot of time to rehearse. Ballet is difficult. You don't see many ballet numbers competing at a dance competition. It's easy to pick apart. It's right or it's wrong. It's based solely on technique. And I think that's a lot of pressure to put on a kid. Ladies and gentlemen, in the teen advance competition, please help me welcome entry number 26, Push and Pull. Woo! happy with our performance. I think we did amazing, and I also think we did the best that we could. And Abby looked pretty happy in the audience, so I'm happy. All right, in our Teen Advanced Duo Trio, in first place in our Teen Advanced Duo Trio, we have entry number 26, Push and Pull. Woo! Woo! 
Congratulations to everyone. So proud. Can't stand it. I'm so proud. This is the second time in a row they have won. I think Kendall has found herself a new duet partner.